hi there welcome back to this jira course and in today's video i'll explain the next report of the jira which is super useful and important for the people who are using scrum and using board in jira and the report name is sprint report the sprint report is useful because it gives you a quick snapshot of how the sprint is progressing it includes condensed rundown chart and a summary table that lists all of the issues in the sprint and their status that's why it is very important and the sprint report is useful for the retrospective meeting and for the mid sprint progress checks too because it allow you to check the progress in the mid of the sprint and you can see how many issues are completed how many issues are not completed and if you have added any kind of issues after starting the sprint then you can see in the sprint reports as well that's why it's super beneficial we'll go to the next slide and see how it looks like so this is a sample sprint report and it looks like this you can see in the bottom part we have the title completed issue where you can see the key of the issue summary issue type priority status and the story points as i told you it also includes a condensed bundown chart here you can see we have a bundown chart and in the horizontal axis we have time and in the vertical axis we have the estimation statistic if you don't know how to read the burn down chart then i would recommend please watch my previous video where i have explained how you will read the burn down chart so here you can see we have this red line this gray line and these gray boxes so let me tell you what is the meaning of the red gray line and these boxes is so if i'll talk about the red lines then it tells us about the actual progress of the sprint and represent how many issues are remaining in the sprint this line also reflect if issues are adding or removing from the sprint and the gray line is a ideal one it is called a ideal line as well which shows linear progression from the beginning to the end of the sprint and this gray line drawn from the total estimation of the issues at the start of the sprint the gray lines states flat during the non working days and this gray space which you can see here it is called the a uh, non working days this gray area represent the non working days so let's go to our jira cloud instance and we'll see this report live for in jira where we should go and how can we see the sprint report how can we change the sprint name if i want to see my previous sprints reports This is my Jira cloud instance. I know like it looks different because I'm using the new navigation look and it's look like this. So here I'll go to the project A. This is my project A and right now I am on the backlog page. I'll go to the reports from the left side bar. I'll click on the report section and it will brought me here where you can see we have the multiple agile reports in my previous video i have explained the burn down chart and in this video we are looking to the sprint report and it's clearly written here what is the use of the sprint so sprint report is basically used to understand the work completed or pushed back to the backlog in each sprint because with the help of the sprint report you can also check how many issues are moved back to the backlog from the sprint this helps you to determine if your team is over committing or if there is excessive scope creep it means it is very useful to determine is your team is giving the estimation right or or they are doing over commitment or if there is a excessive scope creep now we will click on the sprint report and here we are this is a sprint report page where you can see that lashian also gave some informations about the chart how to read this chart so this is the same thing that i have told you in the previous screen and if you want to hide this information you can simply click here and this information will be hide so that you can see the sprint report in a more space here you can see we have a closed sprint ended by the name of the person who completed or ended this sprint and this is the date of the sprint 
like this sprint is started on 6th may and it's ended on the 4th june and if you have linked any confluence pages with your sprint then you can see here but right now i didn't link any confluence page in my sprint and we have the options to share this sprint with the team member you can enter the name email write the messages and you can share that particular thing or oh, now in this three dots you can see we have the three options reopen sprint if you want to reopen the sprint delete and the view sprint in the issue navigations i'm an admin of a jira cloud instance that's why i'm able to see all the three options but i'm not sure what kind of uh, permissions you have maybe you're not able to see the all options here let's go now and see this is a kind of the burn down chart that we have in our sprint report and as i told you in the burn down chart in the horizontal axis we have time and in the vertical axis we have the estimation and statistics now you will go down and you will see the completed list table so there are the three issues which are completed in this sprint we have this issue key summary and the issue type and these are the issues not completed and issue added after the sprint starts are indicated with the asterisk you can see here if you want to see these completed and the non completed issues into the navigation then you can simply click here and it will open the issue navigation page where you can see the three issues which we have here and the one task bug and the story and if you want to see the issue then you can click on the key here and it will open the issue so you can check the the other details of the issues here so this is the sprint report and if you want to see the previous sprint report then you can simply choose the sprint name from this drop down let's suppose if i want to see the sprint one report then i can simply click here and the data will change and if you want to see three four and two then you can simply click and check the reports as per your requirements i know like uh this graph is not looks good because i just created this sprint for this video and this completed the whole issues in a single day something like that so please don't follow this this is just only for the sample so this is a sprint report and you can go to the report sections and check the other reports as well i'll cover the velocity chart and the version reports and the epic reports too in my upcoming videos i hope you like this and you understand how you will go into the jira and check the sprint report thank you for watching this video and please like and share this video and if you have any question then please feel free to ask it into the comment box and subscribe this channel thanks for watching